Michael Flannery has it too. He visited with one local artist that's sure to make you think twice the next time you visit your doctor's office. Do you know what I like about living here? The people of Greater Cincinnati. And just when I think I've seen it all, someone pops up and proves me wrong. This time it was Tom Newbold of Highland Heights, Kentucky. You see, Tom is an artist, but he's not just an artist. He's a very unusual artist. I'm a creative person, and I wanted to do some type of artwork that I thought had never been done before. And one day I was in my doctor's office, and I saw some x-rays in there, and I thought, boy, those are really neat. You know, only doctors ever get to see x-rays. I bet maybe I could do some artwork with x-rays. So, in the past two years, Tom Newbold has created That's, a new art form by treating traditional out. medical x-rays and x-rays of non-traditional items with color and his own twisted sense of humor. And this is one that just didn't turn out well, so I thought, well, let's cut it out and make it look like a ghost. <laughs> You're not well. <laughs> you are not well. And recently at Caldy's Coffee House in Over the Rhine, Tom, dressed in surgical garb, hosted the very first X-ray art show. And what did the people think? Interesting collection. Unique. I'm a bilingual Kentuckian, and I think it's Trey fun. You know, this X-ray art stuff did sound like fun. So Tom Newbold and I asked Dr. Barch of the Chiropractic Health Center in Norwood if he could give us a hand so I could try X-ray art and so I could find out the exact location of the prize inside my box of Cheerios. But before we started, I had one question for my friend, the doctor. Now, would the cereal be safe for eating after this? Absolutely, absolutely. Are you just saying that because it's my cereal? Or absolutely. You? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and what did Tom think of my finished piece of art? Well, so it looks kind of, to me, like a human brain. All the little squiggles around there remind me of the tissue inside the brain. And uh, in an abstract way, I could see where the, a person could see that as the human brain. Me too, then. With his first art show and his first art lesson under his belt, what does Tom think the future has in store? Well, I probably would be living on the left bank in Paris. Um, I'd be jaded by them and um, trying to fight off the fans. They would just be clamoring for my autograph and things like that, and I might throw them a few scraps. You didn't wear the lead vest all the time, did you? <laughs> you <laughs> lead vest? You're supposed to wear a lead yeah, vest? Yes, a lead vest, oh. maybe a little lead hood. Well, maybe I missed that part of it. You should be in the next it. room. Oh, well, I guess I missed that part of it. <laughs> If you want to check out Tom's X-ray art, stop by Caldy's on Main Street and over the Rhine. His show will run throughout this month. What a great piece of artwork. Oh, I mean, thank, thank you very much. And what about your, your X-ray? Did you get to keep that? I did, and I'm having wallets made for everybody here. <laughs> so oh, nice. you'll, you'll each get a shot. Now, he probably gave you that. Is anybody actually buying this stuff? Um, I think so. I think he sold a couple pieces. They're, they're very sharp, and they're all behind the light boxes, and he's put colored gels on them. And they're, they're a mix of medical art and just objects he's laid out. At Very a unusual. Office. Would be a great conversation mm -hmm. piece in a home, that's for sure. To save my next x-ray. There you go. Could be art. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mike.